Justin Driver. Up the hill, the field comes, getting ready for the green flag from Road America. Kyle Larson in the 17 on the inside. And on the outside, Ty Gibbs in the 54. Green flag is out there underway. That is one of the most strange looking starts of the race I have seen in a long time. Look at the advantage Kyle Larson already has. Like the rest of the field didn't see the green or Kyle Larson took off too early. We'll see what NASCAR says. That's the only time when the green flag actually starts the race. See some who run through this stage. Oh, and a big wreck on the track, Rick. Yeah, the 0-2 of Brett Moffitt hard into the tires. This will probably bring the caution out, Steve, if he can't get out of the gravel pit here. It's also how successful Brett Moffitt will be of getting out of this gravel. That was a bad move right there. Dumped. I think we're going to see this all connected. They were all racing in that area. There's the 23 and the 08 also spun around. And right now, Pit road entry might get busy if people believe they can get to pit road before the yellow comes out. But the problem is the leaders are all the way on that back stretch. There's there the it caution. is, the yellow. And before this, the one of Sam Mayer coming into turn five also had an issue right here. Yeah, once again, hits that curb in turn five, gets his tires on top of that curb, just like we saw earlier in the race. And now you've lost all grip. You know, I have to wonder also, guys, as people are watching this, you know, if somebody gets on the outside of you in turn five, just don't give them room and put them <laughs> on that right. curb. You know what I mean? And it just it really makes the car very difficult to slow down. You don't think driver. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that was Anthony Alfredo going into one. And the tire goes flat and he just loses control. And coming up the hill for the final time here in stage two, Kyle Larson is going to win stage two. He's won stage one and stage two. And by the way, a driver has never swept both stages on a road course. Josh Perry in the eight. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Slammed into the side of him and he spins Sage Carib into the wall. What a move by that yellow car of Jones to miss the wreck. And here comes the rest of the field. They can't see. It's smoke and dust all the way across. More coming in too fast and more contact. A huge impact to Tyler Reddick in that 48. Drivers going through, trying to get through, but couldn't see and a lot of contact. And we see Josh Balicki taking the Sargento billboard with him. I don't know if that's what Sargento had in mind, but good coverage. Good so coverage. much damage. Look at, Look at all these yeah. cars. And, not, and some cars rolled away with significant damage as well. Remember, this track is only 30 oh. feet long, 30 feet wide. See Balicki making his move. We saw Moffitt and the smoke coming up from that. Daniel Hemrick, a lot of damage there. This might have be one of the biggest road course wrecks we have seen in yeah. some time. We talked a lot about spotters and blind areas of the racetrack. And I think that's what you saw, Rick, is, is you just, you know, you continue to see smoke and dirt all day long. And now this time there are cars on the other side of it as we see. I think that's Brandon Brown. Yeah, Brandon Brown climbing out. Gingerly climbing yeah. out. Great to see him. Yeah. A big hits. Yes. Big Huge hits. hits. How the Reddick with big damage. Oh. And then they go into this corner and contact again. And now, see this contact, they're banging into each other off the racetrack. And now Noah, I don't know if he had a mechanical issue or just hung a right in frustration. And that started this massive crash behind them. Well, look what everybody sees, too. You can't see anything with all that dust. Yeah, that yellow rear bumper you just saw come in, that's Reddick. You know, and, the, and he can't see where he's going. The rest of these cars are just kind of going into the dust, debris, and the smoke. Let's take a look at from this angle right here. You're going to see the 9 go around, the 45 go around. The 45 makes contact. I mentioned the 19. Evasive maneuver does a wonderful job missing it. Gregson comes in. A huge hit for Myatt Snyder into the 10. And now we see Reddick sitting here and right oh. there. I believe that is. Yes, that's the 68 of Brandon Brown. Nowhere to go. Heavy contact into Reddick. That was a big hit, guys. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we, a lot of big hits. You see right there, they're sideways, and everybody behind them is just nowhere to go. And you may, look at all the dirt, the smoke. Visibility is about impossible. And they just start, you know, just coming into the wreck with no ability to see what's in front of them. Oh. Yeah. Brandon Brown was behind Sammy Smith. 
Sammy Smith went to the left, and as soon as he... The first of them in fourth in that number 17. Look at him make the aggressive move already. Three wide as they get ready to go into turn one. He had to make that move. If he didn't, he knew that Ty Gibbs is going to Ty Gibbs into the side of the LA car. Now Ty Gibbs trying to force his way through as well. On his way to running all the laps, which he told us he wanted to do, guys. Yeah, battling all throughout the field, riding along with Riley Herbst right here. You see Sammy Smith, the 18 car, sideways in the middle of the racetrack. And then look at damage with the Brant car. See the hood all pulled up on that car. That's but a very solid weekend and a lot of experience gained. We see right here, it's big contact, Steve, to the wall. And to Rick's point, that's driver's left. So he didn't go straight through the corner with no brakes. He's definitely turned to the left. So we're not sure how he got there, Rick. But to your point, whether it sounds like it was a brake failure, you assume it's... What a great shot. Let's see how close the 54 can get to the back bumper. The 17 under braking. Down to one car length as they, as they accelerate. He gained a massive amount right there, Steve. He absolutely did. Remember, four... See the white, they're coming to the last right-hander. Now they'll climb the hill to the start-finish line and see that white flag. Larson. Another big gain by the 54. Larson missed that corner. He did not hit his apex the way he needed to. Now Gibbs has some forward momentum. Does he try to outbreak you? Now, one lap to go here at Road America. See Larson blocking a little bit. And that defensive move kind of opens the door. The 54 goes to the outside. Will he cross him over? He puts the bumper to the back of him. Now, another piece of contact. Ty Gibbs got into the right rear corner panel. You heard him lift though. Larson misses his corner again. Ty Gibbs underneath him. Ty Gibbs completes the pass. He's leading at Road America. And so much was made about aggression. The cleanest pass perhaps all year by the 54. So impressive passing the cup champ. To the point he had Larson in trouble. Could have stayed in the gas and spun him, and he didn't. He lifted it, lived to fight another day, and then passed him in the next corner. Here comes Larson. He fights back. A good turn again by Ty Gibbs. Now through eight. Coming up on the carousel, we've seen the 17 sliding almost sideways as he makes this big sweeping right-hand turn. From the moment Ty Gibbs got an Xfinity car on a road course, he was a natural. He was fast. He has spent tons of time in go-karts, old road courses, preparing himself for this. All of that work has got him ready to win this race today. Here he comes. Ty Gibbs. Kyle Larson. Larson's closing the gap. And in the corner, the next big braking zone as they enter the back stretch. They have the kink and then down to heavy, heavy braking. That's where Gibbs is going to have to defend. Conservative through the kink, and that gives Larson a little bit of a run. Will Larson pull out a line? It's a great look. Let's see what kind of run he has. You mentioned it, Steve. A heavy braking zone. They're approaching right now. Larson trying to take advantage of it. Will he cross him over? He's to the outside now. Through turn 12. Still Gibbs with the advantage, and he pulls away a bit. Ty Gibbs, an amazing pass on the 17 of Kyle Larson, and he's holding him off. The final turn. Ty Gibbs up the hill. And an amazing run for Ty Gibbs. He's going to win at Road America. Ty Gibbs. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.